hope you enjoyed the It's Electric Lab. Let's take a look at some of the concepts that were covered. You now know that electricity is what powers all appliances and gadgets that we use every day. Let's take a look at how electricity is generated, some forms of electricity, and some tips on electricity. The electricity we use in our homes and schools is created by large power facilities and is delivered to us through power lines. The power facilities create the electricity a number of different ways. Some use water, others use coal, and some even use something we call nuclear power. We can access this electricity by using power outlets on the walls. Objects that need electricity almost all the time have plugs that allow them to connect to the power outlets to receive electricity. These outlets can be very dangerous though. Do not try to put anything other than a plug into power outlets because you risk being electrocuted. Besides being created in power plants and power facilities, electricity can also be found inside batteries. However, this electricity is on a much smaller scale. Batteries can change chemicals stored inside them into energy in order to power small appliances. These appliances don't need the same amount of power as something that you would need to plug into a power outlet. Batteries power everything from toys to car engines. Some batteries are primary, meaning they only get used once and have to be thrown away. Another kind of battery is a secondary battery, which can be recharged and used again multiple times. Thanks for watching. Next time you use something that needs electricity, think about where the electricity comes from and whether it needs a battery or an outlet to work.